the match is underway. Shawnee opening up with those leg entries, trying to get himself underneath there. Shawnee competed on our last EOC with one of the craziest scramble series I've seen against uh, Andrew Marley uh, from uh, from Dundee Shooters, and um, it was absolutely ridiculous. So he, he ended up winning that match in around about a minute with a real naked choke after some crazy scramble. So I'm hoping to see some real fast-paced action here again as well. Going in for that, that, that Kegel kind of position. Sean will come up with a single leg of his own. I did not expect that. Yeah, nice entry there to it. He's got the leg, he just needs to finish it here. Kieran looks like he's got some good balance here. Bump the hips and kick the leg, <laughs> that's what I see. Absolutely. <laughs> the longer you spend holding this grip, the harder it is to finish that takedown. Oh my, a beautiful run of the pipe there, right on the knee. That was class, classic takedown there from, uh, from Shawnee. Shawnee recently getting his black belt as well, yeah. very high level grappler. Keeps a really good pace in all his matches as well, you're going to see him constantly attack here. Looking for this knee cut position. Just realised the music is still on. Kieran kind of holding onto that butterfly hook there, using that to bring himself back into this open guard position. He's in the reverse del heaver now into the knee shield. Yeah, Kieran clearly just loves to compete. He's, you know, if he's not fighting professional MMA, he looks like he's just yep. wanting to compete anywhere he can here, but oh, trying nice. to give Shawnee a go of his own leg exchanges there. Yeah. So came up on top with it. And again, positionally, it doesn't really matter as much so much in, in these rule sets when you're dealing with guys at this level. Most most people are pretty comfortable in all positions here yeah. to the point where if they you need to be, they give up position, they can you know they can work out from there. And you'll probably see it exchange back and forth quite a lot of times here. The way these guys are attacking, it's more about just trying to get a good bite on something. Again, he's, he's right on that leg there, but Shawnee's tried to counter with a back take of his own. Oh, he's actually nice. ke he's kept that ankle there. I'm not, I'm not sure how much it... Yeah, yeah, there wasn't much to do there. The leverage Shawnee was getting to bring that leg back was, was pretty heavy. And then nearly into the mount position there now. It's kind of side mount position. Um, yeah, he's got a quarter guard yeah, there. Quarter so guard. If he can just square him up, he should be able to complete this mount transition. Um, Again, Kieran doing a good job of kind of keeping himself out of any real danger at the moment here. And he's looking to go to deep half himself yep. and spins himself out back he's up. He's got his own single leg, leg here. Nice, and he nearly got that back take there off of it. Shawnee done a good job of I've, I've actually been that. impressed with Shawnee's wrestling and wrestling defence. Um, yeah. Not in a, a negative way, just Shawnee being a grapple for so long. And as long as I can remember, always being a very strong guard player. Yeah. I didn't really expect to see him go on his own takedowns. But then you need to remember, he's a black belt. He's a black belt, he's uh, in the gym on the mat exactly, all the time. Exactly, so, exactly. You, know, you probably, when you get so good at certain things as well, if he's catching people like that, he's just going to work other stuff and get better yeah. at it. Oh, that low single. Really nice. And oh, off. He switches back for one of his own. Straight on the sprawl. And nice. Oh, great. Very, very wow. high level grappling. Here. This is really, I'm loving this match just now. And you're going to start to see different parts of Shawnee's game here now that he's past the legs. You're yep. going to see what his pressure's like if he's able to you know, set up some attacks, maybe even transition to mount. You start to see more guys favour inside control as well. Less people going to mount now just because it gives up the option of leg locks for the, yep. for the guy on bottom a lot of the times. More so in MMA, you're quite happy to go to mount, but inside control there's actually a lot less a guy can do to you. Yep. These guys are kind of taking their time here. You don't want to make any rash decisions here because against guys at such a high level, Give them one, decision, take a mile. Yes, <laughs> one decision away from something breaks. He's going for that knee on belly now as well. And again, Kieran's managing to... Oh, he nearly got himself back to half guard, used the space to re-guard. And it's just like you said, if you, if you give these guys a wee bit of space, especially at this weight class as well, they're just going to be moving fast, you know. It's interesting seeing Kieran so happy trying to engage on the legs. Yeah, uh, uh, he looks very comfortable yeah. everywhere. Clearly a, a, a well-rounded grappler. 
Um, not just Sean a sort of MMA based style. Entry of his own here. He is on the inside heel hook here. If he can get a bite with his legs, he's in danger because yeah. he did have the heel there. Um, again, looks like they're just about to disengage and, and look for some other attacks here. Shawnee coming up on top. Came with that half butterfly there. He's doing a good job of using the sort of Gordon Ryan passing style there, trying to split yeah. the grips. It's just whether you can keep the pressure on enough to pass. I think with guys that predominantly, you know, are MMA grapplers, guys that still compete in pro MMA, they're so scrambly. Yeah. They might not do stuff like super amazing in terms of technical jiu-jitsu, like where Shawnee might be slightly tighter on something. Keane's going to have that life or death scramble because the difference is if you get caught in a, a precarious position in MMA, you're going to get your head pounded in. Absolutely. And so, so you're going to see a lot of scrambles from him. Oh, that was a lovely truck that, entry yeah, there. He really managed to nice. transition that really well. And he's actually gave up a leg of himself there so who's going to get the bite here just it's going to be very tricky to see Shawnee yeah. actually come up on top using this fence against them both guys chatting to each other here i think it yeah, seems I a think, friendly yeah, conversation I think, I think all it was was Shawnee grabbed the fence here and the guy was reminding him you kind of grabbed the fence and he had never seen him <laughs> he was like yeah i forgot that <laughs> <laughs> Even black belt slip up sometimes, That's Mark. It, exactly. I mean, we're all human. This isn't his normal setting either. Yeah, you know, for sure, for sure. Most, most commonly competing on the Maybe going to wall walk here off the cage. Oh, yeah. we're back into this open guard position. Can't catch a break here, any guy. Yeah, I mean, the cage does change the dynamic a bit of grappling. You know, Any time that you're near it, it's going to give that person, you know, just an extra sort of surface to boost off of and yep. create a wee bit more momentum. Both guys have done really, really well here. It's, uh, it's been a fast-paced match. Yeah, very fast-paced. I don't know if it's what, what, if it's uh, you know a longer time for this. Would it it's ten minutes. Bit, all all ten, matches ten again, are ten yeah. minutes. Nice. And mate, ten minutes of rolling is hard. Uh -huh. Are you going for it? You've got, you've got the adrenaline walking out. We've got the crowd here. I'm a big believer in when it's the tighter ones. I think maybe even extending them to like fifteen or. You or think no, so? Ah, no time limit. Just no because. Time limit, yeah. yeah, just because you know it's it can be. It can be really subjective when it's a fast-paced sort of back-and-forth scrambling match, and you'd hate to see somebody that's a you know, title holder lose a lose a belt or you know, for you know for something that's really close. Whereas, yeah. especially you know, I'm sure both guys would rather get tapped or, or or get the tap. You know, in your opinion, here scoring this, imagine you're the judge. Where are you placing this just now? I would hate to be a judge right now, yeah. to be honest. It's very, it's very, very tough. Because there's not been any real attempts. There's not been no. anything that you could say, wow, he nearly had him there. Um, there's been a lot of close entries. Um, both guys have had decent enough bites. Um, you can see that both guys are well-versed in sort of defending leg locks by taking the back. Yep. Very, very technical. But there's never nobody's been in anywhere close to a tap at this nah. stage. Nah. So it's, it's hard to see, you know, who the winner even is. Even on takedown, Shawnee with two takedowns and some good scrambles. Um, Kieran himself with even some positionally, it's too. Been, yeah. you know, it's been back and forth positionally, so you can't even really say that they've both had to hold each other's legs. If Shawnee's probably held the, you know, held the dominant positions. Um, if it was IBJJF scoring, you're probably going to look at Shawnee here. Yeah. I think do you know what would be good for these matches? A five-minute overtime round. Aye. A five-minute yeah. overtime would be good. Gives you that full 15 minutes, gives you the 10 minutes straight away and then a five minute overtime round I think would be would be perfect for this. Oh wow, lovely back take there. Yep. Um, so he's got himself to a good position here, nice cartwheel. Wow. Shawnee back Shawnee up now. hard to get out. And, you know, this is what you're dealing with here. You're seeing guys you know, get do the hard work to get to these these great positions, but both people are so skillful in the defence that yeah. you know, they're just getting straight out of the positions as well. So very, very scrambly. Shawnee as well. You know, it'd be good to see Shawnee start to get some bigger matches for himself as well. I think, think so. Also, you know, he definitely deserves them. And um, will we see him on a Polaris card or something? Yeah, absolutely. In the future. I think a lot of the Scottish guys get missed for that. Just with being up here, they don't maybe get the attention. Um, they don't get the opportunity to compete as much as yeah. well because you know you're having to travel, travel all, all the time, the time. To, to get to some of the bigger comps. I think what people forget, you know, even those loads of these guys, high, Shawnee, high level black belt, uh, carrying himself pro fighter. Yeah. The money isn't there in fighting. No. These guys not. are working, training, coaching a lot of the time. 
you never they've had normal lives, kids and all that, it's hard to actually go away all the time exactly. and compete like that, it's, it's hard to do. When that is your life, if you then go away for a weekend, it's costing you money because you're going to... You can't take doing. your privates yeah. and, and all that, so that's the end of the match here. I do not know how to score this. Yeah, it's a very, very difficult one, I'm glad I'm not scoring that and the look on Stevie's face yeah, I can makes see me think that he's probably This saying, is a very hard match to I, score. I think it's probably the situation where, you know, to beat the champ, you've got to beat the champ. Thank <laughs> you. 